Hey, welcome to the first part of our development process of our app. We're, be, we're building a Recycler View app where we're going to show a list of presidents and we're going to be able to edit them and sort them. So in this video, we are going to work on the layouts and the navigation. So we're going to create the screen that shows the list view and then we're going to create a second screen that shows an edit view where we can update one of these records and we'll be able to navigate between these two screens. So that's the next part. So let's get started right into Android Studio. You can see that the version of Android Studio that I'm at is 4.0.1 and I have a emulator already running. So let's start a new project and build these views. So I'm going to start a new project using an empty activity and choose next and let's call this thing an application. Let's call it President List or something. So I'm going to name mine as President List Recycle View. And uh, you can see the package name is my URL. It has a location on my hard drive and I can choose either language. I'm going to choose Java for this one and I'm going to choose Lollipop which is API 21 which runs on most devices. I'm not going to check the legacy Android support libraries and choose Finish. So if this is your first time into the application, I recommend maybe a different tutorial. I've got a beginner's guide to Android Studio. This is going to be much more complicated than a first timer at Android Studio should try. But let's get started with the res folder and the layouts and let's take a look at activity main. This is where we're going to design our layout. So let's start by knocking out hello world. So I'll select him and press delete and I am going to put in a button at the top which is going to be for add one and so let's anchor him in so I'm going to drag to the top I'm going to right click and choose center horizontally and then let's give it a button ID now in my case I always use BTN underscore and then the name of my button so you might have a different kind of a, a naming schema but this is what I use here and let's give it some margin from the top so Let's go for the text down here. For the text, I'm going to say add one. All right, so our button's in place. Now, the only other thing that this part needs is a recycler view. So if you choose recycler view, or if you go to legacy and choose list view, you'll get what looks like the same results. But obviously, legacy means old, and we don't use that anymore. So they're preferring us to use recycler view. So I'm going to drag a recycler view out and put it on the screen. Now, you've got a message that says, we need to add a project dependency. So we'll do this, we'll click OK, but then we'll figure out where that goes. So I click OK. And you see the arrow also here says, we want to add a project dependency. So what's a dependency and what did it do to our project? So let's go look here and uh, let's go down into the Gradle area and choose the second one called Gradle Module and let's see what's going on in here. So we scroll down and we have a section called dependencies. Now these are plugins that enhance the uh, function of your application. So for example, let's say you wanted to have a graphing tool where you just gave it some numbers and you get beautiful pie charts or something like that. You probably don't want to have to program all that. You just take somebody else's module and plug it into yours. Well what we've done here is we've added a recycler view right here on this line. So we're coming from Android X recycler view and we are at version 110. So if you're from the future you probably have a larger version number than I do. So pick the most recent version that they have and go with that. Now let's go and see what it looks like. So our layout now shows that we have a item with a bunch of things in it. So let's zoom in on it and see what that might be. So it says 0, 1 through 9. All right, what do we need to do? Well, we got some problems here. It says we need to anchor this around. So I'm going to select here and drag it to the bottom of the button. It says, how do you want to anchor these? So I want the top of my list to be at the bottom of button 1. Let's choose that. And uh, let's go and take a look at the margins. Let's give it a little bit more space, eight pixels. Okay, so the next thing down is we see the layout width and height, they're actual numbers. So what I want to do instead of add these as numbers, I'm gonna right click on this thing and do a center 
horizontally and uh, then we have constraints set to the sides then for the width I can say let's match the constraint and for the height let's also match the constraint and uh, let's see I want to constrain this to the bottom so I'm going to click the plus sign and let's see it set that to zero as well all right so it looks to me like I'm done with the first layout we've got add one at the top and then we have a list so we need one more thing we need an ID for this so I'm going to use LV for my prefix and I'm gonna call this thing president list we're done now we're gonna make the second layout so let's go to file choose new all the way down into layouts activities is what I meant to say and another empty activity for this activity I'm gonna call this thing add or edit one so that means that we're going to either add a new president or update an existing one and let's click finish alright so let's get to the layout part here so I'm gonna choose the XML file and uh, we are in a constrained layout which is fine we are going to add a bunch of text views so I'm gonna put five text views out here these serve as pretty much labels they're not actual places where we enter text that'll come in a minute now these are just labels so I'm going to give them actual text and so the first one is going to be the ID number of the president the second one is his name the third is the date when he was elected and then the fourth one is going to be the URL of his image and so we'll just use those text items as their labels so I think we should have a little bit bigger text for each one of these so I'm going to set them to be 30 SP for each one of them next it's time to set their constraints so I'm going to start with the top one here and constrain him to the top edge of the screen and to the left edge of the screen then let's go look at the uh, margins and let's add maybe eight pixels for each the top and the left let's do the same thing for name now I will attach him to the bottom and to the left let's follow through with the rest of these controls so we will set the top to match the bottom of the previous control and we will set the margin of space between each of them as eight pixels and so when you're done you will have a nicely aligned list of labels ID name date and image URL now we still have this little orphan ID over here the text view let's drag him to be at the top of the ID and let's do the left to match the end of the ID let's also set some space between those now in this one it's important that we actually give it an ID so I'm gonna put in here TV for text view and I'm gonna call it president ID number for the president ID number I'm going to set his text to zero and the font to be 30 again now for the rest of the form we're going to have to use a different kind of text view we're going to use plain text which is used for data entry so we'll drag some plain text out here let's put three of them on the screen so now the goal is to line up all of these te edit texts to their labels so I will constrain each of them to the top of the button that was in front of them so that way the top of the button and the top of the label both line up now I'm also going to uh, give them a space of eight pixels so there's a little bit of margin between them and uh, so once we're all done here we will have ourselves a nicely aligned form now let's give these things IDs and as well change their hint text so let's start with the first one here and so this thing is an ID so we'll put ET for edit text and we're gonna call this thing president name now down at the bottom here we have text I'm going to erase that and instead up in the top where it says hint I'm gonna put in the name okay so you can see that name shows up but now instead of being in dark text it's light text let's go to the date now and let's give this thing a name as well so the I or the edit text is the uh, uh, date of election we'll call it ET date election now we'll do the same down below where we're gonna erase the text for the name and change it to the hint change it to a date the last one we're also going to name as ET underscore but this we're gonna call picture URL
Okay, so we got all the edit items in. Now I'm going to put some buttons in. So let's go either to the buttons area or common and find the button item. Let's drag one and two in. So let's give these things IDs. So the first one, I'm going to call this thing button OK. And the next one, I'm going to call button cancel. So I've got their IDs set and now I have text. Let's align them so that they look nice. So for the alignment, I'm going to align this first button to the bottom of the previous item. And uh, let's give it some space here. So let's give it maybe 16 pixels of space. For the cancel, let's line him up to be the top of the previous button so that they're both at the same height. Now I want to center them. So this is a little tricky. So the first item I want to do is I want to center or I want to drag him to the left. The second item I want to anchor him to the right. Now I want to anchor them to each other so that they float. So let's go to the OK button and I will try to anchor them like so. So he is anchored to the start of the cancel button. Now I can't go the other way unfortunately. If I try to anchor him to the previous it never seems to work. But don't worry, we can go and change this in the code. So I'm going to up to the top right here, choosing split, so I can see the XML code that I'm working on right here. So what do we got here? The cancel button, that's what I'm looking for. So edit text, come down to cancel button. There we go. And the constraints. So I have two constraints set up. I'm going to insert some space and put a new one in. So I'm going to type in the word constraint. And I want to do the constraint where the start of the button, let's see, constraint. I'm going to just type it in straight. Constraint, we want to do the start is going to the end of a previous button. So the end of the ID number of BTN OK. OK, so we're manually putting them together. And as soon as we put that in there, you can see that the buttons now are relatively spread across the screen. Okay, that's the alignments, that's our layouts. Next video we're going to put some navigation in so we can get from one screen to the next.